Afternoon everybody, I'm Jack and this is Rod Tropical Living and I'd like to thank you for joining me again today. Just sitting out in my backyard getting a little fresh air. I'm in between a couple of things even though it's Sunday afternoon so I was thought it'd be nice to just sit out in the backyard for a while and then thought I'd do a video back here. Raw Vegan, Raw Little 4, 801010. Today's video is more about personal responsibility. Let's, let's start off by talking a little bit about personal responsibility. Um, personal responsibility for you to put in the work, for you to study, for you to do your due diligence to see what kind of a lifestyle you're going to lead. Um, you know, I'm, always, I'm kind of always talking about that. If you've watched many of my videos, you know I'm not one of the recruiters. Now what I mean by I'm not one of the recruiters, I'm not trying, I have no interest in getting anybody to a specific team. Um, I myself am a high raw vegan, uh, but mainly I like to uh, just, I try to introduce as many people as possible to a whole food plant-based lifestyle, um, a vegan lifestyle, uh, a high carb lifestyle if possible. Um, but when you get down into the particular sect you were going to follow, you really need to do your own work on that. You, uh, you, you need to make a decision for yourself. Um, I think there's too many people out there that are just, um, you follow kind of like a celebrity within this movement or, or, or somebody that's a leader, somebody that's just charismatic or sometimes as the saying goes, the greasy wheel gets the oil. You listen to the loudest um, and most aggressive ones that are fighting for your souls out there that are trying to get you to the team. So I think what you need to do is take all the personalities out of it, take all the groups out of it. That's another reason why I think people do their particular brands sometimes too, other than just the fact that they've made a decision that this is right for me, is people want to be part of a group. So sometimes people find a group and they like the vibe in that group or they like the people or they like certain aspects of that group. And they tend to just kind of blindly follow um, the particular way this group does a lifestyle. Any of these, whatever it is, anytime you give up your decision-making process or you your decision-making process is swayed by facts other than what makes sense to you up here and how you feel down here, um, you're doing yourself an injustice and you're giving your power away to somebody else and you're letting somebody else dictate one of the most important um, things in your life. Uh, you know, it, I, I, I'll, I'll continue with the same message I preach over and over. Even though I do believe raw works best for me, I just I can't be that one. I can't sit around and nitpick everybody's diet. I can't sit around when I see people that are thriving, uh, uh, doing it a different way than what I'm doing. I just can't sit around in the face of all that and try to knock down. Oh well, no, you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. So. I watch, you know, I've told you many times, I watch, uh, I watch people that do 80-10-10, I watch people that do raw till four, I watch fully raw vegans, I watch people that, I watch people that do starch solution. I watch all different kind of people that do a whole food plant-based diet, um, that are eating lots of fruits and veggies. And it makes me feel good watching any of them. I, you know, you see so many people out there that you're, they're just angered angry at anybody doing this lifestyle other than the way they're doing the lifestyle and that just makes me suspicious right off the bat I like I say it just doesn't make any sense other than uh, you know it just may, it sets off my suspicion like do you have some sort of an agenda are you selling something whether it be a program whatever blah 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 that you need to sell people this particular lifestyle like when I you know when I first started doing this, and I still haven't gotten to that point yet, when I started thinking, okay, I will do something business-wise with this. I'll probably start doing retreats. How will that affect my message? And I thought about it real quickly, and I said, well, it's not going to affect my message at all if I do anything business-wise related to a high-carb vegan lifestyle because I'm not a preacher, and I don't judge. And anything, any of the events or any of the vacations or retreats or whatever that I will be having in Costa Rica or that I put hope to work with some people on later in the future um, are like uh, I'm not really you know I'm I could see having people come down that wanted to do any version of a high-carb vegan lifestyle possible um, I just I don't care 
I don't care. I want to share that message. But what about you? Do you go raw vegan like me? As I've said, you know, as I've also said many times here, I don't like to think of this as me trying to educate or teach people. I just like, you know, my best thing is I can do is just, this is what I'm doing. I don't care who, what, I don't care who thinks what about how I'm doing it, the way I'm doing it, or whatever. This is how I'm doing it. Not trying to change any minds, not telling anybody to follow how I do it. This is how I do it. And just giving you a view of who I am, how I'm doing it, and you know, kind of giving as much feedback on the results as possible. But you have to make that decision for yourself. Um, and I've, you know, the longer I do this lifestyle, it's funny. You know, you, you would think the longer you study something, the longer you do something, the more you know about it. Sometimes I think the longer I um, do this lifestyle, the less I know about it, because I really am, I am coming to the conclusion. Like, okay, let's just say, even though I'm not judgmental. Let's say if I took, if somebody said, well, should I become a raw vegan? 100, I mean, is that the only way? I couldn't say that yet because I see other people thriving, doing different, different ways. And I don't, I, what it leads me to is that maybe the same way of doing this is not the same for every human being that's walking around. I mean, you know, people have illnesses, people come from different places, people have digestive problems. We're just individuals. We are very, you know, we're seven billion, however many people there are now, we're seven billion unique organisms on this planet. Um, and we just can't say one size fits all. So, this one's not gonna be very long today. It's just a point, the whole message of this on a lot of things, especially with social media, but it's always happened. People are, you know, the media, it's not even just social media. There's always somebody out there that's trying to shape your mind your opinion and I just think there's something unnatural about that as I have a channel here and as I want to share as many things as possible I don't want to shape your opinion I don't want to shape your mind all I want to do is share some in, share a wide variety of information out there and if I the, the one thing I can hopefully do to help is to offer enough information out there that just helps someone make an informed decision and you know first thing as I've mentioned, would be to watch as many different variety of people as possible, as many different personalities as possible, as many different lifestyles as possible. Uh, the reason I say as many different personalities because you don't want to, and this is another bad, this is a real bad one too, as far, you know, I'm saying sometimes people get these uh, charismatic types and they kind of hang on to them because they like their personality. Conversely, you don't want to necessarily not do a certain, you know, not do 80-10-10, they're all vegan, uh, raw little four starch solution, whatever, just because you, you come across somebody and you really don't like their personality. That, these, these little things are not a reason to decide how you're going to eat, to decide how you're going to take care of your body. It's kind of like, you know, the old, um, for you older people, there used to be a TV show back in the 60s, I believe it was, Dragnet, and there was Joe, Sergeant Joe Friday, and he said, just the facts, man. It's like, if more people out there would just, you know, share information, let's just share information, more information, less opinions, less elaborations. Um, I think if we just get a lot of good, solid news out there, people are smart enough to make their own decisions. And before anybody even jumps in there, I, you know what, the most condescending thing out there that some people do, and it's almost making YouTube watchers think like, well, you know, treating you like sheep, is um, like people when they're like, well, this guy over here is misleading people and it is my job to illuminate the masses. Who the hell are you to illuminate the masses? Let me ask you as a, as a watcher out there, do you need to be illuminated? Are you not smart enough to uh, see through the charlatans, the, steak, the snake oil salesman out there? Do you really need somebody to tip you off on the snake oil salesman? I got my, I could, I could pick them out pretty much uh, very close to the beginning. I started, you know, I've got a suspicious mind anyway, but I, uh, I kind of just started weeding stuff out that I had no use to from the beginning, but I didn't have, I don't, I didn't need anybody taking personal responsibility for me out there. I didn't need somebody saying, well, this person's being irresponsible. I don't care about that. If this person's tell it, if this person's uh, putting out an irresponsible message over here, I want to see common sense weed that out. 
I want to see people having enough common sense to say, well, good Lord, this guy's a nut over here. Why do, ten pe why do experts have to point out that he's talking some nutty stuff instead of just me, the viewer, seeing it? So, you know, thank you very much if anybody out there is watching, but I don't need, um, I don't need taking care of and uh, filtering from out there. But anyway, this is going to be a quick one. I'm out of here. i uh, got a few things to go do on this purdy Sunday afternoon. But think for yourselves. I really encourage you, watch a, divert, like, watch a lot of different people, get a lot of good information, and keep an open mind and don't be afraid to change. If you make a mistake, so what? Don't hang on to your mistake. Because there's no, there's no uh, weakness in, okay, well, I'm trying this out. This isn't working exactly right, so I need to kind of veer in another direction. It's all about getting to the best version of ourselves, and it's a continual process, but you need to be driving the ship. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, I know we're getting on over in the summer. We're about midway through the summer. Uh, enjoy this warm weather while you got it. I know some of my uh, friends up north, you won't be having it for too much longer. So anyhow, peace.